Hi, YouTube. How's my favorite people? And even my ones that aren't so favorite. No, <laughs> I don't think they watch me. But anyway, yeah, I got some outside stuff done today and yesterday. So I was debating whether or not to make a video. But then I thought, well, I've had something on my mind for a very long time. And... You know, when people have been abused or hurt, anybody that's been hurt, like, in any way like that, um, you know, like, if you're a little kid and you get beat up, or if you get raped or something, or, um, uh, molested, or, you know, even bullied or whatever, you, you know, when things happen to you, it's sort of a shame on you that they put on you. You see what I'm coming from? And, um, I've been given this decades of thought as far as Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Well, um, was the forbidden fruit the Baphomet? <laughs> Because back in my day, that's what we called people instead of, I mean, I didn't. That was the terminology back in the day, my days. Um, well, now I've gotten mad and called a pedophile that like went raping on my children, they, these type of things. Yes, I admittedly have called names in my life. Like, yes, personally, I have. I don't take it back. But whatever. Um, going back to the Garden of Eden, perhaps Satan raped Eve, and that's how Cain came about. Maybe there was a happy little family. Maybe he appeared to her like her husband or just annihilated her, and then maybe Adam talked to God, and he's like, um, you know, they put fig leaves on because she couldn't bear to be, because I'm going to tell you what, when I was uh, annihilated in my life, um, how I dressed, I stopped wearing dresses. A little girl stops wearing dresses. Well, nowadays, maybe not like a big deal, but back in my day, that was a big deal. That was like a red flag city, you know? So, um, shame. Yeah, you wonder, what you did to make somebody hurt you that bad. You think, what did I do? Because your mind's not thinking right. You're hurt. You're, you're, uh, annihilated. You don't think straight. You're, you become sick inside from what happened to you. Yeah. And the shame. Yes, it is shame that they put on you. And so what I'm thinking is the way the Illuminati, I can't remember the one, mason that changed the king james and that's neither here nor there it still doesn't take away from the word of god but i've always always thought i find it really hard to believe that a woman the first woman made for her husband would do anything to hurt him that just doesn't sink in as God made two loving human beings and then the serpent went in the garden. You know, when Satan came into their life and came around them, perhaps he was on the earth but told to be, stay away from them. Because God asked him, where you been? He said, to and fro. Well, what? To what? And from what? You know, sure. He raped her. Then he smashed his so-called brother in the head and killed him. And then these, these mongrels came about that Christ decided, well, yes, they are bastards of Satan, but um, I will come back as one of this blood type and I will save my old lady, and I will take these children on as my own, and we will teach them. And Eve said, sounds like a plan to me. And it took them um, centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries over and over and over of planning. Even like the Hollywood movies, everything, the actors hand-selected from each bloodline to make a point that needed to be made at that time. Them type of things. Everything planned by God. Why? 
because God was lonely. How else could God find a mate someday unless he came down in a different bloodline that wasn't his self? Just my theory. I've been thinking about this. But the main thing is, everybody says, well, Eve offered her husband this fruit. A woman wouldn't do that. There's no way. There's no way. No way. Or else God made a woman that didn't love her husband. No, that didn't happen either. It just doesn't make sense to me. I used to think when I was young, I used to think only men cheated. And then uh, the more I got to know the woman that raised me and women around me, I'm like, oh, even if they don't cheat out, outwardly, it's like all in there, icky, you know. And so just being of God like that inside myself, faithful like I've always been, my heart's been screaming, this is baloney, baloney. I don't buy it for a minute. That's part of it. They had to have changed. It just, it just does not scream the first femininity of the world was a slut. It just doesn't ring true to me. Now, the first feminine of the world got raped by a jealous dark angel. That makes more sense that he became human in order to do that, which was the sickest part of God because he was lonely. I mean, these are all just theories of me, mine, but, you know, in essence, and then the people that just kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker and selfish, more selfish, more selfish, and the lies were covered over, covered over, covered over. Like I say, when people tell lies long enough, they start to believe their own lies. And they really do. I've seen it. I'm like, like I've told people, don't, oh, you don't remember? You told me the truth here. Now I go like, you know, and this has happened. The older you get, you see a whole bunch. But, and I actually read the white papers in the lodge and I have no way to prove what I'm saying is truth. Or prove like um, when Adam was trying to recreate himself, he kept getting taken out. And the population just kept growing and growing against him. And there was like seven generations he had to get this right. He literally had to die for everybody to save us. Literally had to didn't have a choice. That's how the father and him became one. So um, I don't know how else to explain things, but today was the day because today is the day that has a lot to do with the feminine and feasting and um, they say out of honor, but this is not what's going on today. So um the cabal, the dark cabal, they know the cabalian that they read or key Um There's uh, the cabalian, what they give the average person to read is short about like the cabalian's about that thick. And if you add key ball la is about it's the cabaling with the kibala on top and that tells of um dark magic uh the dark vial of life um god's sickness satan's connection um christ's return the bloodlines the generations of the bloodlines and um what's going on here and what was pre like watching on tv screen um god's army christ's army sat and literally watched their lives whether they remember all that or not 
but the 144,000 men sat there and watched on the TV screen the progression, even even the bad stuff, like everything right up till the end, even when people are like totally freaking out, the bad ones. Um, like I say, if if they aren't now, they never will be, and they never were <laughs> those type of people, like empty souls. Um, it is a joke in a manner of speaking if you're all real and don't get all sad and everything like this this is my more than opinion it's my hypothesis which is an educated guess and i'm not guessing so and it's not a theory i can't prove it as fact so what the heck do i do so today was the day and i know a lot of people were waiting for this all day long <coughs> actually egging me on bait me trying to get me to say and do what they wanted me to I thought well I'll wait till tomorrow took a shower came back and I'm like mm. now I got people depending on me and I got people that I love that need to hear this today so it's like no ladies and gentlemen today is the day of the rest of our lives you know And Adam and Eve wanted to have children anyway, but um, everybody had to be different in order to make a society of different people so they could procreate if they chose to and that type of thing. So that is what's going on. So, And some people are like uh, some guys would say, and this is an appropriate term, for especially some of the darker lodges that deal in homosexuality. So they are totally butthurt with the fact that they're not God and they won't be gods. Although they could have capabilities like that later, they're, they're salty because they weren't first. Well, how do you be first unless you're first, you know? It's like the oldest brother having to be sorry because he was born first. I've been through that with my kids. I go, what do you want me to do? Take one of you out? One of you be happy if I take the other one out? <laughs> you know? I go, I got two arms. That's like not good enough for you people, you know? And, and it was the same difference like that. So I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> it's crazy. No, like I say now... My arms are big and I've, I'm pretty still pretty flexible. So if all my kids and grandkids were around, I can just like hug them all at once. There's just no problem, you know. <coughs> so, yeah. But anyway, that was on my mind today and I thought it was important to get on here and just spit it out. I was going to fit it into the creation story, which that does come because um, this world had to be made with time, with the timepiece, the sick stick, uh, the sick part of our pops down here so he could personally get to know everybody and see his family and heal. And we're supposed to be helping heal our father and the son because, you know, he like literally died over and over, not just once, not just once. And the names aren't Adam and Eve, and that's not important either. And it's not Sophie and the rest of all this bullshit, but this is not important at this time. What's truly important is um, people realize that, yes, although we're a part of one great big family, there are two sides to that family, and that was intentional and had to be for everybody's learning of each other. Not the dark. It has nothing to do with dark. It has to do with heritages and um, not even a different plane of existence, but uh, a way so God didn't have to be lonely. And a lot of people, especially men, are angry about that. And a lot of women are jealous of our feminine mother 
but how can you be the first mom if you're not the first mom? It's like, ladies, get a grip. Somebody made me. I don't have a problem with that. These people got to get a damn grip. We didn't make ourselves, you know? I don't have a problem having somebody. Hey, is somebody, are you my dad? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> my dad died, but I didn't get to know him. I Well, on the phone, I talked to him, and he sent me a letter, which I burnt, and I wish I kind of didn't, but he called me babe, and it's like, oh, dude, that's it. <laughs> you know, that was the last time I talked to him. So, that was enough of that. We were going to meet, and we were only, like, all my life, I was, like, within three miles of my natural mother and my siblings. And um, about 80 miles away from my father and the rest of my siblings are still about, well, now I'm further north, so. But crazy, right? Shopped at the same store my own birth mother did when I was a kid. That's, um... Yeah, I'm cruel. <laughs> you know, I actually saw my siblings all alone seeing people that, you know, it's weird. But I didn't know and they didn't know. But yeah, it was, that's a little, little strange. Not because, um, because it was in Minneapolis, but because I was born in Sock Center in a Catholic girls home way north of Minneapolis and then it um, sent to a children's uh, home society a, a orphanage in St. Paul um, and then got adopted out once probably abused at two weeks old brought back and then adopted out again which is funny because the Masons didn't know all about that until later and so I probably had like three, four names in my life. Who knows? You know, whatever we want to call her today, you know, it's all good. You know, <laughs> so, um, but no, this was all important and it's all true. And I hope it hits home. I hope it makes sense. And, um, if there's some way you can help me spread the word and let people know, or I know we can't prove this, but what do we feel in our hearts? I feel that there was no shame in the garden besides Satan's shame. So, and pretty much, um, I think we're all going to laugh someday, but I'm not finding this shit too funny right now. So, it was kind of a rough day. So, you have to pardon me. I'm going to bow out, and I love you all. I really honestly, honestly do. I mean, if you're cruel and mean and kind of snotty, I don't love you as much as I love somebody else. Or I love you, but I probably don't like you. You know, I just love people on their level. That's all I do. That's all I can do. I still don't. Um, well, yeah. Evil people can just be evil people. Then they'll distance themselves from God. So it's just like, yeah, the old saying, you want to back in the doorway or walk in with your head held high. You know, I know some people that will not only be backing in, they'll be crawling in backwards. You know, they'd be so freaking scared. And they should be too. The filthy things they do on this planet. So, and that is beyond disgusting the things that are going on so this stuff has to get out here people have to make sense of why we're here and stop playing these god dang it i can barely stand anymore i've known this shit for decades i can't bear it anymore i need some help people please i'm serious we all do don't you think don't you think it's time for us to pull our Self's higher, you know, for real. You know, I love you. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Would you like and share and get the word out and find a way to tell our story? Please.